This is Zoro currently in the anime, and this is Zoro in an early sketch before the manga was even published. Now you might be wondering why he's standing next to two members of Buggy the Clown's crew. Well the reason is that Zoro actually was supposed to be a part of the Buggy Pirates originally. Yeah, he was meant to be Buggy's bodyguard instead of Luffy's right hand man. Pretty crazy, right? This is only the first fact, and for the last one, I will reveal an easter egg about Zoro's sword Enma that 69% of you probably didn't know about. Let's keep going! The One Piece live action is set to be released later this year, but do you know who will play Zoro? The actor for Zoro will be Makenyu. Here are the actors for some of the other Straw Hats. Zoro's three swords are pretty cool, but have you ever wondered how they would look if they were human? Yeah, me neither. But if you for some reason did, then Oda has drawn it for us. Sandai Kitatsu took the form of a man with a sly smile and beard as if to reflect the sword's curse. Wado Ichimonji appeared as a man with a unibrow, and Shusui looks a bit like a Nigel Thornberry with longer hair. The famous fashion brand Armani has designed clothes for Zoro and the rest of the Straw Hats. This was done for the release of the One Piece film Z, and their clothes were designed by Armani designers and were chosen by Oda himself. The rivalry between Zoro and Sanji is one of the most iconic things about Zoro and One Piece in general. The two are always at each other's throats since they first met. But I bet you didn't know that he's never addressed Sanji by his actual name in the original Japanese version of the manga. That's right, never. Do you remember this scene on the island with the two giants when Zoro was about to get turned into a wax figure? Well, during this scene when Nami and Vivi were confused about why he was making such a weird pose, Zoro actually mentioned that if he was about to be turned into a statue, then this is the pose he'd like to have. Luckily for him, there's actually a statue of him with the exact same pose in Japan. I'd like to visit one day. If you're a fan of One Piece, then you most likely know that Zoro has two names. He's often referred to as Zolo instead of Zoro in some English versions of the anime and manga. Well, there are two possible explanations for the use of the name Zolo. The first is that Zoro may have been considered too close to Zoro, a copyrighted character who may have inspired Zoro's name. The second is that the Japanese language does not distinguish between L and R sounds. Oda's intention was probably Zoro, not Zolo. But have you ever noticed that almost all of his attacks are named after sushi? This was revealed in a chapter of the SBS. For instance, in his technique nigiri, toro samon. The pun is that nigiri is a type of sushi, toro means fatty, and sabon is a salmon. Did you know that Zoro actually met the creator of his sword Enma years before he got the sword? In the Shimotsuki village, the village he trained and grew up in, he met Shimotsuki Kozaburo, the creator of Enma. Kozaburo is also the father of the owner of the dojo that he used to train in, which means that Koina is the granddaughter of Enma's creator. Pretty crazy, right? In the past 22 years, One Piece has had six character popularity polls. For the first four popularity polls, Zoro placed in second place every single time, which means he was in second place for over a decade. Zoro is one of the two people who have successfully slain a dragon. The only other person to have killed a dragon is Ryuma. Furthermore, both Zoro and Ryuma defeated their prospective dragons in similar ways by decapitating them while in midair. There are multiple instances where Zoro has been featured outside of One Piece. For example, this easter egg in The Simpsons where Homer Bard is cosplaying as him. Or in episode 5 of the webtoon anime adaption Tower of God where this character is dressed like Zoro before the time skip. You probably already knew that a lot of pirates in the One Piece universe have been inspired by real life pirates. For instance, Blackbeard is inspired by this guy, and Jewelry Bonnie by this pirate. But did you know that Zoro is the only straw hat that is inspired by a real life pirate? His last name, Noronoa, is actually the Japanese translation of the surname belonging to Francois Lulonet. You might know that Oda has stated that Luffy would be a firefighter if he wasn't a pirate, but have you ever wondered what Zoro's job would be? In volume 76 of the SBS section, it was said that Zoro would be a policeman. Some of the other Straw Hat jobs have also been revealed by Oda. For instance, Usopp would be a graphic designer, Robin would be a flight attendant, and Brooke would be a detective. You probably also know what Luffy will look like when he gets older, but do you know how Zoro will look? Well, this is Zoro at age 40 and age 60. Oda has even drawn how he would look in a bad timeline. Let's just hope he doesn't go down this path. Here's how some of the other Straw Hats will look. In the original Japanese version of One Piece, Zoro is voiced by Kazuya Nakai as an adult and Megumi Urawa as a child. However, in the dubbed version of One Piece, he's known for having more voice actors than any other Straw Hat. As a kid, he's voiced by four different people, and as an adult, by three different people. You know how Zoro lost his eye after the time skip? Yeah, Oda actually intended that he would be a one-eyed character at the start of the show, but waited for the time skip to take away his eye in the end. But this isn't the only thing that changed. For example, in the original edition of chapter 598, Zoro's scar was depicted on his right eye. In chapter 599, Oda said that this was a mistake and that it should have been on his left eye. Also in chapter 698, Zoro is seen with a thick cross-shaped scar on his chest that looked exactly like the one Luffy got from Akainu, rather than the thin one he got from Mihawk. 
Both of these mistakes were changed in the official volume releases. Almost everyone Luffy recruits to his crew is a random person he's met and was impressed by their skills or forms some sort of bond with them. Zoro, however, is an exception, as Luffy actually went in search for him because of his reputation as an expert swordsman and tried to make him join from the moment he first met him. Remember how Mihawk was introduced to the story? He sliced Don Krieg's ship in half seemingly because of his nap getting disturbed. Well, this is extremely similar to how Zoro was reintroduced after the time skip. He cut a galleon in half because his nap got interrupted. Pretty funny, right? He also has the highest known starting bounty for a native of the East Blue, with a 60 million berry bounty, surpassing Luffy's initial bounty of 30 million berries. This does not count Sanji's 77 million berry bounty, however, since he's technically from the North Blue. Zoro is the only pirate among the worst generation that hasn't eaten the devil fruit. Now, a while ago, Killer, Captain Eustace Kid's right-hand man, didn't have a devil fruit either, but he actually recently ate defective smile fruit during the Wano arc, which made Zoro the only pirate in the worst generation without a devil fruit. But what if he did have a devil fruit? Did you know that Oda actually has revealed what devil fruit Zoro theoretically would have? Well, technically, he wouldn't actually have eaten the devil fruit. Instead, it would be his swords. Oda has said that he would give Zoro's swords the fish fish fruit, mythical type model Seriyu, allowing it to transform into a dragon while he himself remained the same. It's pretty cool to imagine him wielding a sword dragon. Now we all know that Zoro decided to return the Shusui Tawano in return for Odin's sword Enma. Well, this was actually foreshadowed multiple times. For instance, in this manga cover for chapter 937, we can see Zoro reading what looks like a treasure map. Well, if we zoom in, we can see the kanji for Enma written on the bottom of the map. But this isn't the only time Enma got foreshadowed. Remember the shrine in the forest of Hakamai where Zoro and Hiori ended up? Well, the name of that shrine is actually Enma. Oda is just on another level when it comes to foreshadowing and hidden facts. On the topic of hidden facts, check out this video where we talk about crazy Luffy facts you probably didn't know.